Welcome to a new video. In this new video I want to talk about the new release of the KDE default browser Falcon 3.2.0. has been released at the end of the January 31st of January and here's the change log as you can see. It took two years so that I think it makes sense to take a look at the new features here and have a tour around the browser itself because most people don't even know that there is a KDE browser. They only know maybe about Conqueror and Reconk, uh, those uh, projects that are not really actively developed anymore. But Falcon is actively developed and has yeah, released a new version with several new changes. Uh, first of all, it is based upon Qt WebKit, so this uh, Qt Web Engine, so not WebKit, Qt Web Engine, which uses Blink, which is the same engine as Chromium or Chrome uses so this is the version here you can see the change log i have already uh, the browser running here you can see the various different changes and i want to walk you through all of uh, the major interesting features that you can have here the start page looks like this it uses by default DuckDuckGo as search engine you can of course switch to something else if you want to have quant for example as your search engine you can have quant here and i can search for kd falcon for example and it will go to the website um, to the search results here and I can see also the apps kde.org website where you can also get more information about an application and where to get this application as well and for some reason it's loading very slowly there we go uh, Falcon it's not the Falcon browser that's, browser that's loading so slowly it's my internet probably Anyway, you can see here a nice little screenshot and you can see the options to install this. So you can get it from FlatHub or from the Snap Store and I think there's no app image available, but you might see some app images as well. As you can see here, brand new release is there as well and you can try it out even if you don't have uh, yeah, the newest package available. You can try the FlatHub or Snap version, which should work just fine. So. As you can see here, we have a classical design where we have an address bar where we can type in addresses where we want to go and we have a search bar where we yeah, can type search results. Of course, I can also uh, search for other things like KD Plasma here. And if I hit enter here now, it will search with Quant directly. So the default search engine I, I, I set up, I can also use DuckDuckGo, which I think uh, is using by default. As you can see here, it's working fine. And the cool thing is if I go in here, I can configure this. So I can configure the search engines. You can see I have DuckDuckGo, Start Page, Wikipedia, Google and Quant. So what I can do is you can see there's a shortcut. I can just write this shortcut in front of the search term and then it will directly go and search on this website. This is pretty cool, especially if you can add more than this. Like for example, you could add uh, dict cc for for a dictionary let's do this quickly i'm not sure if this is working yeah add dictcc dictionary search i can add it and it has been added successfully and now i have dictcc here and i can say okay i want dictcc i want to have a, a shortcut for this so i click on edit say this shortcut should be dict and uh, i click OK, I click OK and now what I can do is uh, let me just go to kd.org to show you that this is really working is type in dict and then the word that I want to translate like for example football and it will start directly going onto the website and searching for the term football which is pretty cool and awesome so you have the possibility to do such things if i want to search something on google i know that it, it's not on DuckDuckGo or something else i can type in g here and then the search term that i want to have uh, like for example uh, neptune os distribution that i'm using because i get so many questions about people uh, what kind of distribution i'm using it's neptune os it's a distribution i'm developing as well so that's for this. What you can also see is like Google doesn't show any advertisements. This is because I have an ad blocker available. Ad blocker is available here. It's added, uh, activated, and I can show the ad block settings and I can configure this. Easy list German is here currently in there. I have custom rules set up if I want to. I can go to options and say I want to add subscriptions, remove subscriptions. If I click on add, I can say, okay, I want to add subscriptions to another list of ad blocking. Uh, that is available here 
and give it a title even if I want to. So this is pretty cool and very good indeed. One thing that I would recommend, um, of course, turning off on certain websites if you want to support the author of this website. Then there are some tools here as well. As you can see here, I can configure the toolbar. If I want to have a menu bar, uh, which looks like then more like uh, the old uh, Firefox uh, days where I have a uh, menu bar here, but I can also say, okay, I don't want the menu bar, then it will appear here. I can uh, say I want a bookmarks toolbar. If I want to have the bookmarks here, I'm not really using this as you can see here, but it is possible to have this. I can have tabs on top. Uh, but I can also have like tabs on the bottom and the URL on the top, just like good old KDE uh, Conqueror was doing, I think. So this is possible. And uh, sidebar is possible to have bookmarks. If I want to have bookmarks, you can see I'm using some bookmarks here. Or I can also have the history there instead. So this is also possible. Uh, the tabs on the side is not possible for people who are asking, at least I don't see it here. I can go to downloads to see my downloads, which is just like a normal download manager. And I have the option to configure the toolbar and edit this here. What is cool about Falcon is they have many different settings here. They have the private window option, they have the option to open files, they have a session management and session switcher so I can um, directly oops, go to the session manager and create a new session or switch to another session so if you have like for example a work session or you have like a private session with searching for new stuff for your bathroom or other things and you have various different tabs open you don't want to lose them you can save it as a session here and uh, then go to your work session again where you have all your github and code uh, reviews also on uh, which is pretty cool and handy you can do so and uh, easily just, just choose and then switch to and it switches to this session. Then we have the option to send a link, which is sometimes very useful. If you find a nice interesting link, you want to send it to some uh, people, you can click on send link and it will open up, uh, usually it will open up the mail to uh, email program. In this case, it's not working for some reason, um, but it should work then. Then we have the printing option, which allows us to print, which just calls our normal printing dialog here, no other options available. Select all and find options. So if you're searching something on the website is possible, show all history, organize the bookmarks, which opens up in bookmark manager, where you also have the option to import bookmarks as from uh, Mozilla Firefox, Chrome, uh, Opera, or an HTML file, uh, which you can export from various different browsers. And uh, then we have, of course, the viewing options. Uh, here you can see we have some other viewing options like reloading option, uh, resetting the zoom or zoom in. The page characteristics encoding, character encoding can be changed here. You can view the page sources if you want to, which is available here as well. And we have also uh, the option to go into full screen mode. History, you can search your history if you want to. Most visited, closed tabs, closed windows, everything possible here. Tools, there's a web search available as well, or just like this here, basically, <laughs> only. And there's a site info available, which gives you information about the website, just like, for example, general information, security information, encryption, media that is on the website can be found on the website. You can download some media here. Uh, also pretty straightforward, I would say. And uh, then there is also the web inspector, which is basically the same thing that you can see on the Google Chrome or Chromium browsers where you can have inspect stuff and develop uh, the website the way you want. So this is also possible here under tools, web inspector, control, shift and I uh, is the key combination. Clear recent history and the help is available. Let's go into preferences, check out some stuff here. We have uh, one setting that is very useful for me, restore session, which I usually do is uh, restore my last session. I can set a home page and I have the uh, speed dial for if you open up a new tab. Let's open up a new tab and you can see speed dials with like the website that I, websites I visited most often here listing up. This is not what I wanted. Uh, let me go to the settings again. There we go. And uh, we have uh, the option for uh, the profiles to set uh, different profiles. If you want to, we can create new profiles. Um, that is also possible from here. We have the appearance where we can say, okay, we don't want to have it looking like Linux. We want to have it looking like Mac. Click 
apply and you can see uh, this is now chrome so it looks more like chrome this is the theming that you have here or a theme you can have mac theme as well which looks like this more classic kind of mac i would say uh, you have a windows look if you like and prefer this one which is uh, yeah reminds me a bit of opera i have to say and we have the linux uh, look uh, which I like the most of course and we have get more themes and this will bring us here where we have some other themes as you can see only uh, two themes available an example theme and the tech face theme so maybe someone needs to work a little bit of theming support here as well otherwise we have uh, some advanced options where we can show also or set the stuff like sh show always the bookmarks on, on start we have some tabs options, tabs behavior, hide tabs when there's only one tab. For example, activate last tab when closing active tab, which is pretty interesting, and open new tabs after this active tab. Uh, and some other tab management that you can do here, which is pretty cool. Address bar behavior is also possible. So if I don't want to have like search uh, stuff, I can say um, disable search or search with the default engine. Um, always show go uh, the go icon um, in the address bar for example history and bookmarks uh, that are shown as suggestions or nothing if I want to do this and uh, yeah uh, show loading progress in address bar which is pretty cool uh, fill I can use a custom color but let's let's see how this will look like so let's as you can see there load google de there's a loading bar in the in the address bar as well you can change it um, if you want to so you have the ability just like uh, with almost everything here uh, use a custom color for example this blue one and uh, let's click ok here again and load uh, kd.org and you can see it's now a blue loading bar here in the address bar so you can set it up i think some browsers are using using this as well you can set it up the way you like it then we have some browsing options as well with configurations we can use the uh, pepper plugin if you want to pppap uh, if you still have something that uses this uh, use the built-in pdf here requires pppap so if you want to use um, view pdfs in the built-in viewer so let's search for PDF test and uh, let's go out of here. Uh, so we have like a testing PDF here. If I click on this, you can see it's opening up a dialog that allows me to save or open the file. Uh, but if I go to my preferences, by the way, also good that it always remembers the last entry that I was on. I can say use built-in PDF you apply and okay. And now I press on the PDF and now it's using the internal viewer as you can see here like other browsers are using this so you have this option as configurable option and this I think PDF viewer is also something mentioned here let's search for PDF there we have it option for internal PDF uh, PDF home based viewer is available here which is the one that I'm using here so we have some other preferences as well like we can disable javascript we have enable xss auditing include links in focus chain when we want to switch focus with our tab key print element background animated scrolling which makes the scrolling a bit more fluid and use native scroll bars um, yeah you can use the native scroll bars instead of the the, the browser one i like to use the browser one because sometimes the web pages try to override the scroll bar and it lo doesn't look good we have uh, screen capturing options here where we can uh, record the whole uh, website if you want to which is pretty cool with local storage options here where we can set up our cache how big it should be what should be saved and so on and proxy configurations as well font options are available you can set them up here as well i think the defaults make the default make a lot of sense at least the default that i have here keyboard shortcuts we can check here as well close the application single key shortcuts if we want to speed dial with control number of speed dial which is also pretty cool on the speed dial page the browser uh, the downloading options uh, use download manager when downloading fin or close download manager when downloading finishes and ask every time for location or use external download manager so you can have an external download manager 
here as well which is pretty cool and we have a password manager on board as well as you can see here that allows us to uh, change also the back end by default it's using kwallet as well and uh, which is also cool you can import passwords from passwords files if you want to share them as well and uh, yeah pretty awesome uh, on the privacy tab we have a cookie management we have a cookie manager on board which allows us to see all the cookies we have filtering and we have setting off for cookies like filter third-party cookies for example uh, or tracking cookies so we can turn this on for cookies and then they will be filtered out we have some javascript options as well here open pop-up windows activate windows access clipboard and paste from clipboard for javascript options you can turn this off we have html5 permissions just like for example for notifications so that some website can send you notifications or camera permissions so that some websites have uh, access to your camera and microphone pretty cool um, send do not uh, track header to service is also possible so that they know that you don't want to be tracked notifications can be set up here as well we can show a preview as well how a notification will look like of falcon and um, yeah the timeout and then we come to extensions which is also pretty cool you have the full power of extensions here i showed you already the ad blog extension there's a kde frameworks integration extension supporting kao and storing passwords in kwallet which uh, by default is activated auto scrolling is enabled there's an example plugin extension as well a flash cookie manager which can easily delete flash cookies i'm not sure if this is useful anymore there's grace monkey if you want to use some scripts for websites there's a simple qml plugin a mouse gestures support for navigating in web pages by using mouse gestures which is also sometimes handy then adds uh, the ability for falcon to store some personal data so there's like pim options as well available status bar icons status bar icons uh, adds additional icons and zoom widgets to the status bar there's no status bar really right now and there's a tab manager which allows you to manage your tabs and windows a bit better and vertical tabs it allows you to show tabs in a sidebar so i told you by default there is no tabs in a sidebar but there's an extension that can do this for you and you can get more extensions by clicking there and this will load a website where you have much much more stuff to choose uh, 15 different extensions that you can add to falcon if you want to which is pretty cool like a readability extension uh, button tabs if you want to have this or using it on a tablet or something like this where it makes sense instant search option and much much more available here for falcon this is basically it in terms of falcon we have some spell checking as well and some other options here for example the preferred language for the websites and the browser identification i can see the user identification um, option here i can use a specific user identity or user agent identity for specific websites to yeah see how they work here and i can manage the search engines again and manage the pro uh, protocol handles which means like for example if there's a protocol a new protocol coming up i can uh, see them and change them and user style sheets i can also set up here so basically this is uh, the yeah browser falcon when it comes to like uh, html5 test this heavily depends of course on your Qt web engine Qt version that you have as you will see in a minute i'm running the git version here which is based on Qt web engine version 5.15.3 and uh, yeah the points here really depend on if you have um yeah, which, which web engine version you have here but you can see here most of the stuff is supported 2g graphics in terms of video there's also almost everything supported here um, the only thing that's not supported is h264 support for video in html5 for example might be a limitation here and there but it's a great browser so far and it's a good alternative for chromium or chrome if you want to stick to a chromium or blink based web browser this i think should be your uh, best integrated browser in kde and it's working fine so far i don't have any big crashes or something like this and uh, it has the extensions that i need ad blocker most of the time and uh, yeah it's working fine for me what do you think about the falcon kde browser write it down in the comment section have you used it before and are you using it maybe as default browser and what do you like about it that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye